Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever, uh, I think about a year since I filmed. Um, a lot of things have been going on in the past two years. I mean, I think I kind of mentioned it in my last video that, you know, we got married and moved in with my in-laws because our house is being built. Um, so our house is now built, we moved in. We've been um, in here for about nine months. Um, so that's just kind of been the crazy, like just getting a routine in this house, everything with me working, my husband working, I work four days a week. Um, so even just like that, coming home at five o'clock, you know, working out, just having a routine. Um, so you guys do know, I don't know if I've mentioned it in my previous videos, but I am a nurse. So with all this pandemic going around, all this, you know, uncertainty going around, um, usually you would think it'd be a lot crazier for me um, unfortunately, because I do work in the operating room rather than on the floors, um, we have actually been pretty slow. So that's actually reduced my hours and kind of had me at home more often. So with that, I'm just taking that as an opportunity to start probably working on my channel more, trying to be on my Instagram more, just kind of be more active on social media to get myself out there. I know I kept saying that once we move in the house, I'll, you know, I'll have a routine. I'll start filming again. I do want to film. I want to do beauty videos, but I also want to do some like house videos for you. I like watching those types of videos like recipes, decor. Um, my new obsession at the moment is Amazon buys, which is not really a good obsession because every time I go and watch these videos, I'm like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. And I actually have bought a few things. I mean, they're cheap things, not like too expensive, but I have bought things off of recommendations. So, um, I know I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, um, that's just me. So whatever, let's continue. My first video is gonna be my BoxyCharm video, what I got for the month of April. Um, I wanna start off, I just want to start off with this, something simple and easy and just, you know, get back into filming. I actually have now upgraded to BoxyCharm Premium. So BoxyCharm has two, I believe has two types of services. So they have the base box, which is $20 a month, it's $20 a month, um, and it's just basic items that have at least $100 worth of items in there, and then you can upgrade the Boxy Charm base to the Boxy Lux, which is every three months, they charge you an additional $30, so $50 every three months, and then you get a big box with a lot more items. Um, so I've been doing that for a while, but then I saw that they have now came out with BoxyCharm Premium, which is now $30 a month, which is only $10 more, but they have more higher end products. Um, the last box I got was all Fenty Beauty products. So everything with her lip gloss, her highlighter, her, the Moroccan eye palette, which is what I kept. Some of the things I knew I don't wear and would use, I've actually given to my family. So I've given to some of my sister-in-laws, um, my mom, you know, things that I know um, that I'm not going to use, I've given away. So now this is the first Foxy Charm Premium, which I think has a mix of things. So let's just get right into it and see what we got. I'm just going to give you a quick disclaimer. Um, right now, I'm filming in what is my nook. So I'm going to probably play around with areas of the house that will get a lot of light. Um, we do have a big open floor plan, but right now it's raining too, so a lot of the light in the house is pretty dim. Um, but I'm going to play around with just the areas of the house, where to film. So bear with me, it might be here and there a little bit different every time. Okay, so the first thing I got is from IKG is Good Behavior Spir Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. Ooh. So it's a keratin-like treatment in a can. 24-hour fizz control, 450 degrees heat protected. Oh, oh. Okay, this I really like. This I think I'm gonna get. So you mist it over damp or dry hair in sections, comb through it to ensure every strand is coated, blow dry, finish with a flat iron for best result. So this is something, I wonder where that paper is. So this product is normally $32. So that's how I want to tell you why I really like BoxyCharm. This product alone is a $32 product. 
I just got this whole box for $30 and I still have one, two, three, four, four, five more products to go through. So I'm pretty much buying this and getting everything else free. So I really like this because I have, um, I don't, okay, so I don't really have frizzy, frizzy hair. What I do is I tend to have a lot of breakage and that is mainly because I put my hair up a lot. At work, my hair is always up. In the OR, obviously your hair has to be covered. We can't let it loose freeing like I used to do when I was on the work on the floor. So it's always covered, it's always in a hair tie, so my hair breaks a lot. So if you notice like a lot of my hair is not so much frizz, it's just breakage from the hair tie. So I've actually transitioned to using scrunchies and like these, which I got actually in my BoxyCharm Lux a month or two ago, which was just, it's an Invisibobby, I think that's what it's called, um, which helps and does not pull my hair a lot. So I'm trying to get into the habit of not wearing my hair up and like when I'm home, just maybe putting it in a hair clip or if I do, I use that scrunchie. Okay, so the second thing I got is, oh, a Cover FX Water Cloud Primer plus Pollution and Blue Light Deep Defense. So it's a weightless cooling mousse that refreshes skin and helps defend against pollution and blue light rays. Creates an ultra smooth canvas for flawless makeup application. Perm. Oh, this is nice. I'm actually running out of my Becca primer. So this actually looks pretty good. Water cloud. And it actually helped. Well, I mean, yeah, I, we live in South Florida, so there's a lot of pollution, a lot of humidity. It's very hot. Oh, that feels really nice. Oh, it's really nice. It doesn't have that like silicone feeling to that. So the next thing is this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. So I don't do a lot of mascaras. Oh, this, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to try it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna have to try it because I actually bought the Fenty Mascara last month. Everybody raved about it, that it gives you volume, length. It didn't do anything for me. I already have long lashes, I don't have a lot of volume, and they don't curl up, they just go straight. So that I thought, I mean, my sister-in-law had used it, she said it was really good, I had a co-worker that used it that said it was really good, so I said I'll try it. Um, I didn't like it, honestly, I just used my L'Oreal Voluminous, it's probably one of my favorite mascaras. Sometimes the drugstore brands are just a lot better than high-end, um, so I haven't, I, I'm going to keep giving the Fenty a try and just see. How much it works if it's maybe just me maybe I need to do application or something else like that all right so the next products I have is levito levito inspired by nature it is an age away replenishing cream Let's see if it tells me what's on here made with 11 and in, in, in oh, can't speak today Innovative organic plant actives. This anti-aging solution is clinically proven to diminish the appearance of dryness, wrinkles, and rough texture while deeply nourishing mature skin. Okay, I hit 30. Does this now start meaning, does this mean now I need to like have all this anti-aging shit? Whatever. Whatever, you can never go wrong with anti-aging stuff, right? For mature skin, apparently now I have mature skin. Tell you, once you turn 30, it goes down. Okay. So, is this, I'm assuming this is just like a moisturizer. It's a replenishing cream, so I'm assuming it's a moisturizer for the face. It doesn't really have, it's supposed to have grapefruit seed. Melissa and avocado. I don't know what Melissa is. I didn't know that was like a... Oh, it smells... Yeah, it smells... It smells like soap is what it really smells like. Like dial soap. Oh, but it feels nice. Well, I'm gonna have to put it on the skin. Use circular muscle massage deeply. In this deeply nourishing, age-defying moisture cream into slightly damp, freshly cleansed skin until absorbed. Formulated for daily use. Okay, so I'll probably try it. If not, I might give it to my mom. She likes creams. All right, then next thing I have is Juice Beauty, and this is a liquid lipstick. Ooh, I love liquid lipsticks. 
and before okay so this this is an interesting color before I used to be into like very dark reds reds you know like darker colors then I got really into nude colors um, so this is actually a pink like pink coral color wait is this a liquid is this a liquid lipstick Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a liquid lipstick, but it's like not really, it feels like a lip gloss. Let's see if it dries. I don't know. I feel like it's not going to dry, but it's also kind of like not as opaque as I would think it would be, especially for a color like this. So this might be a hard color for me to wear because I do have discoloration on my lips, so it may not cover all of that. So the last thing I have in the box is from Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA. It's a makeup by Manny or Manny, oh, Manny MUA's uh, brand, and it is his color palette in Life's Trap. So I'm going to be honest with you, I have not bought makeup. Actually, recently I have bought makeup. I actually bought, is it Juvia's Palace? I just bought a palette from them. It was like $8 on sale online. But usually I haven't lately. I've actually been using, um, I've just been using whatever comes in BoxyCharm. And lately I've been getting a lot of palettes that, a lot of make, uh, eyeshadow palettes. So I've been using that. Oh, these are really cute. Okay. So these are the colors. Now, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to work these in. I'm going to start trying to do some more colors. Everybody knows this side of the palette is so me. This is everything. I'm such a neutral person. I don't do a lot of colors. Uh, maybe like a color like this, but I have yet to. I just feel like I need to play around with it because me having a tan skin tone being Indian, some of these colors don't show up as well. Like I don't think this color will show up as well. I probably have to put like a base color, like a white or something, and then have it show up or, you know, kind of do the concealer and let it show up or um, it just... I feel like those colors don't really show up that well on me. Um, I'm going to have to play with it, but I really like this. It's, ooh, the pigment's actually really good. Well, you know me, I already played in the, the neutral colors. Oh, this color, because it's more of a reddish base, it's a little chalkier than the other colors. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, there's a white in there. All right, guys. So that's everything in my boxy charm this month. Um, I'm hoping to do more videos. If there's specific videos you guys like to see, like certain eye makeup looks, certain things you want to see, um, let me know. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Um, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Bye.